Welcome to the Pistol New Zealand Holster Training. This is the next step for you if you wish to partake in the dynamic aspects of our sport, as holsters are used for many of our disciplines. The course you're about to undertake is a comprehensive one, and the instructor will show you how to use and be safe with a holster. This is the next stage of your journey to becoming a really good competitive shooter. I look forward to seeing you on the ranges. Section, the draw, right-handed shooter. The draw is executed whenever the pistol is removed from the holster, such as when loading, starting a course of fire, or simply bagging a pistol. The pistol must only be drawn from the holster, either when in the safety zone or when under the command of a range officer. Typically, this will be when the range officer issues the command, load and make ready, or an audible start signal. The draw starts with the shooter facing downrange and is executed in three parts. The index finger remains outside the trigger guard and the muzzle is pointed in a safe direction throughout the drill. Be careful not to sweep your legs, body or weak hand. The first part of the draw is the grip. The strong hand takes a grip of the pistol and at the same time the weak hand moves to the centre of the body close to the stomach. Keeping the weak hand close to the body in this manner ensures that it is out of the way and cannot be swept. It also balances the movement of the strong arm so the shooter's body and head remain stationary. Notice how the trigger finger is extended and visibly clear of the trigger guard and the weak hand is flat against the stomach. This completes the first part of the draw. The second part is the actual draw. Here, the pistol is lifted from the holster and rotated so it is pointing downrange in a safe direction. The weak hand remains close to the stomach so it cannot be swept. The third and final part of the drawer is the ready position. The pistol remains pointing downrange but is lifted up to chest height and the weak hand moves up to take a freestyle grip. At this point, the shooter is ready to engage targets, move around obstacles, adopt another shooting position, and so on. Section Holster Right-Handed The holster drill is executed whenever the pistol needs to be returned to the holster. There is no command for this drill and is performed by the shooter as necessary. As with the drawer, the trigger finger remains outside the trigger guard at all times and the muzzle points in a safe direction throughout the drill. Every effort must be taken to ensure that no part of the body is swept. Sweeping the strong leg may be unavoidable, but this can be minimised by correctly positioning the holster on the equipment belt. If there is any loose clothing or any other obstruction that will interfere with the holstering of the pistol, this should be secured before commencing the holster drill. The holster drill starts with the shooter facing downrange and with the pistol in the ready position. The first part of the drill is to prepare the holster. The weak hand is moved to the centre of the body close to the stomach. The pistol is lowered to the strong side and points vertically down at the ground. The pistol is then inserted into the holster and any locking mechanisms are engaged as necessary. The weak hand remains on the stomach and the trigger finger remains outside the trigger guard. Section Draw Left Handed Shooter Here we see the same drawer and holster drills performed by a left handed shooter. The first part of the drawer is the grip. Take a grip of the pistol with the strong hand. In this case it is the left hand. The trigger finger is extended and visibly clear of the trigger guard. At the same time the weak hand is moved to the centre of the body close to the stomach. The pistol is then drawn from the holster and rotated to point down range. The weak hand remains stationary. The shooter then adopts the ready position by raising the pistol up to the chest or face level and the weak hand takes up a freestyle grip. The pistol remains pointing in a safe direction and the trigger finger is well clear of the trigger guard. Section Holster Left Handed Shooter Holstering a pistol for left-handed shooters is also the same. The first part is to move the weak hand to the stomach area and lower the pistol to the strong side of the body close to the holster. The pistol should point vertically down at the ground. The pistol is then holstered by simply inserting the pistol into the holster. 
Note the positioning of the trigger finger and the weak hand. Section. Draw. Revolver. So far the drills have shown a semi-auto pistol. The drills are exactly the same for revolvers. Here we see a typical double action revolver. The draw starts with the shooter facing downrange, waiting for the range officer to issue the command load and make ready, or for the start signal to sound. The strong hand takes a grip on the pistol, the weak hand moves to the stomach, and the trigger finger is extended and well clear of the trigger guard. The pistol is drawn from the holster and rotated to point downrange. The pistol is raised to the ready position and the weak hand takes a freestyle grip. Section Holster Revolver Holstering a revolver is also the same. Move the weak hand to the stomach and lower the pistol to the strong side. Insert the pistol into the holster, leaving the weak hand on the stomach. Here we see the same drawer and holster drills from a different angle. Grip, draw, ready, prepare, holster. Section Load Drill, Double Action, Single Action The load drill is only performed when the range officer gives the command load and make ready. It starts with the draw, but instead of moving the weak hand directly to the stomach area, the weak hand moves to the ammunition, either on the equipment belt or possibly a table. The pistol is drawn from the holster and at the same time, the magazine is pulled from the magazine pouch. Notice how the weak hand remains close to the body to avoid sweeping, and the trigger finger remains well clear of the trigger guard. The pistol is raised to the ready position, close to the chest or face, but is rotated to the strong side so the magazine can be inserted. Ensure the muzzle of the pistol is not pointed above the berm or in any other unsafe direction. The action is then cocked by pulling the slide fully to the rear and releasing it. Notice how the trigger finger remains outside the trigger guard and the pistol is pointing down range. The action must now be prepared so the pistol can be safely holstered. Either the hammer must be decocked or the external safety must be applied. This CZ Shadow is a double action, single action pistol and we see the hammer being manually decocked. Pinch the hammer between the thumb and index finger of the weak hand and take up the tension of the hammer spring. Retain control of the hammer and pull the trigger. Lower the hammer in a controlled fashion and ensure it is fully lowered by pushing the hammer forward. Release the trigger and move the trigger finger clear of the trigger guard. If the pistol has a decocking mechanism such as the Sig Sauer, this mechanism must be used to decock the action. Here we see the magazine is inserted and the action is cocked by operating the slide. Instead of manually decocking the hammer, the decocking mechanism is used to lower the hammer safely. Once the hammer has been decocked, the pistol is holstered using the holster drill. The weak hand is on the stomach and the pistol is lowered into the holster. Load and make ready. The shooter must be able to confidently decock the pistol prior to holstering. Section Load Single Action Only Semi-Auto Single Action Only Semi-Auto Pistols are slightly different as these have an external safety. First, the pistol is drawn from the holster. The magazine is inserted, keeping the trigger finger clear of the trigger guard. The pistol is pointing down range. The action is cocked by pulling the slide to the rear and then releasing it. The external safety is applied. Notice how the hammer remains cocked. Looking from the other side, it is clear that the ambi safety lever is pushed up. The pistol is then holstered. Load and make ready. Section Load Double Action Only Semi-Auto Another type of semi-auto pistol is the double action only, such as this Glock. The pistol is drawn from the holster, magazine inserted and action cocked by pulling the slide to the rear and then releasing it. With this type of pistol, the action is automatically decocked. There is no hammer to lower or external safety to apply. The pistol can simply be holstered. Load and make ready. Section 
Section Load Revolver Loading a double action revolver requires a slightly different technique, but the drill remains similar. First, the pistol is drawn from the holster. The muzzle remains pointing down range, but is lowered to allow the cylinder to be opened with the weak hand. The speed loader, or moon clip, is pulled from the equipment belt and inserted into the cylinder. Care is taken to ensure the weak hand remains behind the revolver so it is not swept. The cylinder is then closed. The hammer remains decocked, so the pistol may simply be holstered. Load and make ready. Section Unload Drill Right-Handed Shooter with Semi-Auto The unload drill is executed in two stages, allowing the range officer to verify that the pistol has been unloaded before it is holstered. The unload drill starts with the range officer issuing the command, if finished, unload and show clear. The first thing the shooter should do is move to a safe, stable position, standing erect and facing down range. The pistol is unloaded by first removing the source of ammunition. For a semi-auto, this will be ejecting a magazine. Bring the pistol back to the ready position at chest or face level, eject the magazine and secure it. Ensure the trigger finger remains outside the trigger guard and the muzzle points in a safe direction. Pull the slide to the rear to eject any round in the chamber. Inspect the chamber and magazine well to ensure the pistol is unloaded. This is your responsibility. Then wait for the range officer to verify that the pistol is unloaded. The range officer will issue the command, if clear, hammer down, holster. Release the slide and take an aimed shot to lower the hammer. Make sure you aim just in case there is a round still in the pistol. And then holster the pistol. If finished, Unload and show clear. If clear, hammer down, holster. Section Unload Drill Left Handed Shooter with Semi Auto. Left handed shooters unload a semi auto pistol using exactly the same drill. Bring the pistol to the ready position, remove the source of ammunition, and pull the slide to the rear to eject the round. Keep the trigger finger outside the trigger guard and keep the muzzle pointing in a safe direction. Check that the pistol is unloaded and wait for the range officer to verify. The range officer will issue the command, if clear, hammer down, holster. Release the slide and take an aimed shot and holster. If finished, unload and show clear. If clear, hammer down, holster. Section Unload Drill Double Action Revolver Again, the same drill is used to unload a double action revolver, but there are some small differences. When given the command, if finished, unload and show clear, lower the pistol and open the cylinder. Eject all ammunition from the chambers, ensuring the muzzle is not lifted to an unsafe height and the weak hand remains behind the muzzle. Inspect the chambers to ensure the pistol is unloaded and wait for the range officer to verify. When given the command, if clear, hammer down, holster, close the cylinder and holster the pistol. There is no need to take an aimed shot as the hammer will be in the lowered position. However, if the hammer has been cocked, it'll be necessary to take an aimed shot before holstering the pistol. If finished, unload and show clear. If clear, hammer down, holster. Section Reload There is no range command for this drill. It is performed by the shooter when required. As with the other drills, it is important to keep the trigger finger well clear of the trigger guard and the muzzle pointing in a safe direction and never sweep any part of your body. Section Reload Semi-Auto Right-Handed Shooter the reload drill typically starts by pulling the pistol back into the ready position, in front of the chest or face level. As the pistol is pulled back, eject the magazine. At the same time, reach for a new magazine. Insert the new magazine and then start to engage targets. Careful of the muzzle height as there is a tendency to lift the muzzle when inserting the new magazine. 
Here is the same drill shown from a different angle. Eject the magazine while bringing the pistol back to the ready position. At the same time, reach for a new magazine. Insert the magazine. Notice how the pistol is tilted over to the strong side. This allows the shooter to see the magazine well and align the magazine so it can be inserted. It also stops the tendency to raise the muzzle. Notice also that the reload drill is done at chest or even face height. This minimizes movement and allows the shooter to keep their head up and remain aware of their surroundings. This is particularly important if the shooter is moving while reloading. The reload drill shown at normal speed. Section Reload Semi-Auto Left-Handed Shooter The same drill performed by a left-handed shooter. Eject the magazine, bring the pistol back to the ready position. Pull the magazine from the belt, insert the magazine, then extend and continue shooting. Notice how the shooter's elbows are tucked in close to the body. This provides greater leverage when inserting the magazine, ensuring the magazine is fully seated in the pistol. The reload drill shown at normal speed. Section Reload Double Action Revolver Reloading a revolver is essentially the same drill. Start by bringing the pistol back to the ready position, opening the cylinder at the same time. Use the weak hand to operate the plunger to eject the cases from the chambers. Take care not to sweep the weak hand and do not raise the muzzle so that it points in an unsafe direction. Lower the muzzle in preparation for inserting new ammunition. At the same time, reach for a new speed loader or moon clip keeping the weak hand behind the pistol. Insert new ammunition into the chambers, close the cylinder and continue shooting. The same drill shown from the side. Notice how the muzzle does not rise significantly above the horizontal. And the reload drill shown at normal speed. Section Table Reload Reloading from a table uses the same drill. However, care must be taken when reaching for the magazine, speed loader or moon clip that the weak hand does not pass in front of the muzzle. For semi-auto pistols, hold the pistol at chest height and keep the muzzle pointing horizontal to the ground so there is vertical separation. Also, notice how the shooter allows the magazine to fall to the ground rather than hitting the table. This ensures a smoother reload and reduces risk. When reloading a revolver from a table, there is a significant risk of sweeping the weak hand, as the muzzle is lowered in preparation for inserting ammunition into the cylinders. Make sure the weak hand has secured the speed loader or moon clip before allowing the muzzle to drop. Section Adopt Shooting Positions Action shooting requires that you are able to shoot from different positions. Standing, kneeling and prone. You need to be able to change position without causing the muzzle of the pistol to point in an unsafe direction or sweeping any part of your body. Changing positions should become second nature so your attention can remain downrange on the targets. Section Kneeling Kneeling is defined as having one knee touch the ground. This could be your strong knee, weak knee or indeed both knees. There is no correct option and you will need to adopt the position that is right for the circumstances. There are five ways to adopt a kneeling position from standing. 1. Step forward with the weak foot and lower the strong knee to the ground. 2. Step forward with the strong foot and lower the weak knee to the ground. 3. Step back with the weak foot and lower the weak knee to the ground. 4. Step back with the strong foot and lower the strong knee to the ground. 5. Drop forward onto both knees.
section prone. Prone is essentially lying with your stomach on the ground. There is no requirement for your feet, knees or elbows to be in contact with the ground, but lying prone can be quite stressful and can affect your ability to breathe smoothly. Place your feet, knees and or elbows on the ground if this is more comfortable. Shooters of different fitness levels may prefer to squat when going prone or simply to dive onto the ground. Regardless of how the shooter goes prone, care must be taken to ensure that the muzzle remains pointing in the same direction throughout the movement and that the weak hand is not swept. Getting back up from the prone position typically involves placing your weak hand on the ground and pushing back up onto your knees and then standing from there. Section Single Handed Shooting Most action shooting is done freestyle, allowing the shooter to use a two handed grip on the pistol. However, each discipline may require the shooter to shoot either strong hand only, or weak hand only, or you may simply choose to shoot one handed if you find it more efficient. The technique for transitions from strong hand to weak hand and vice versa are the same. Transition to weak hand. Hold the pistol in your strong hand up in front of your body. Using a swiping motion, place the heel of your weak hand on the pistol grip in the grip between the fingers and the heel of your strong hand and the web of your weak thumb up against the tang at the top of the pistol grip. Wrap the fingers of your weak hand around the front of the pistol grip at the same time as you rotate your strong hand off the grip. Transition to strong hand. Hold the pistol in your weak hand up in front of the body. Using a swiping motion, place the heel of your strong hand on the pistol grip and the grip between the fingers and heel of your weak hand and the web of your strong thumb up against the tang at the top of the pistol grip. Wrap the fingers of your strong hand around the front of the pistol grip at the same time as you rotate your weak hand off the pistol grip. Section Moving on the Range You may be required to move in any direction on the range, forward or backward, left or right. Keep the pistol up at face or chest level, pointing downrange and in a safe direction at all times. Pivot your body around your strong hand and pistol as necessary to move in the required direction. You may find it better to remove your weak hand from the pistol grip depending on the direction of travel and the distance to be covered. Section Shooting Around Barricades Barricades can be problematic as you'll be in close proximity to a solid object. This will obstruct the freedom that you have to move the pistol from side to side. When transitioning from one side of a barricade to another, lean back away from the barricade and pull the pistol back in close to your body up in front of your chest. Then push the pistol out towards the targets on the other side of the barricade. You need to ensure that there is sufficient clearance to move the pistol from one side of the barricade to the other. Ensure that as you move the pistol that you do not hit the side of the barricade with the barrel. This may cause you to point the pistol in an unsafe direction. Damaging your pistol is a secondary consideration. Move back away from the barricade and pull the pistol in close to your body as you move from side to side. Moving from one side of the barricade to the other is deemed to be moving, therefore you must keep your index finger well clear of the trigger guard when performing this transition. Section Moving Through Doors Doors open in one of five ways. They either swing inwards, outwards, to the left, to the right, or they lift up. 
In each case, you will need to manipulate the door with a part of your body extended in front of your body, increasing the risk of sweeping. Hold the pistol in your strong hand at chest level and offset your strong side as you manipulate the door with your weak hand or one of your feet. This will ensure you can open the door without sweeping your weak hand or other part of your body. If the door opens outwards, you may need to step backwards as the door opens to ensure there is sufficient clearance. Section Shooting Through Ports Shooting through ports can be challenging as it restricts the field of view of a shooter and forces the shooter to move into a position where they can see the target. Stand back from the port if possible in a position where the targets are visible and engage the targets by shooting through the port. This is preferential to pushing the pistol through the port. Section Cowboy Action Shooting Weak Side Holster Cowboy action shooting allows a shooter to have a second holster fitted to the weak side of the equipment belt and drawn using the weak hand. The revolver may be drawn from this holster either as a discrete action or drawn either before or after shooting the strong side revolver. Only one loaded revolver is allowed to be drawn at any one time. The drill to draw a holster from the weak side holster is similar to that of the strong hand drawer. Grip. Whilst facing in a safe direction and clear of any obstacles, take a grip of the revolver with your weak hand without lifting the revolver from the holster. The grip must be firm enough to control the revolver but still allow you to easily manipulate the controls. Ensure that your index finger is well clear of the trigger guard. Draw. Lift the revolver from the holster. As soon as the muzzle clears the holster, rotate the revolver so it is pointing downrange at approximately 45 degrees from the vertical. Your strong hand remains on your stomach. Raise the revolver up in front of your chest and close to your body. At this point, you can transition the revolver to your strong hand, cock the hammer and engage targets or perform other actions. Section Cowboy Action Shooting Cross draw. Cowboy action shooting also allows a shooter to position a holster between the center of the shooter's body and the weak side hip, so that the revolver may be drawn from this holster using the strong hand. The drill to draw a holster from a cross draw holster is identical to the strong side holster. However, the shooter must ensure that the revolver does not point in an unsafe direction. Shooters will often push their weak hip down range by taking a small step forward with their weak foot and rotate their torso so the cross draw holster is pointing in a safe direction. Position of a cross draw holster is important. The holster cannot be greater than 30 degrees from the vertical and optimum position is forward of the hip. Whilst facing in a safe direction and clear of any obstacles, take a grip of the revolver with your strong hand without lifting the revolver from the holster. The grip must be firm enough to control the revolver, but still allow you to easily manipulate the controls. Ensure that your index finger is well clear of the trigger guard. At the same time, move your weak hand to your stomach. Lift the revolver from the holster, and as soon as the muzzle clears the holster, rotate the revolver so that it is pointing downrange at approximately 45 degrees from the vertical. Your weak hand remains on your stomach. Raise the revolver up in front of your chest and close to your body, whilst keeping the muzzle pointing downrange. At this point you can cock the hammer and engage targets or perform other actions. Section Cowboy Action Shooting Weak Side Holster When holstering a pistol in a weak side holster, the same drill is used, but it is mirrored so that the revolver is held in the weak hand and the strong hand moves to the stomach area. One further variation of this is holstering a revolver in a cross draw holster while simultaneously drawing a second revolver from a strong side holster. Prepare. Whilst facing in a safe direction and clear of any obstacles, ensure that the hammer is down on an empty chamber or spent case. 
Transfer the first pistol to their weak hand, holding the pistol in an overhand grip with the fingers wrapped around the cylinder, ensuring all fingers remain outside the trigger guard. Insert the first revolver into the cross draw holster. Section Cowboy Action Shooting Load While facing in a safe direction, complete the drill draw. Lower the muzzle of the revolver slightly, but well clear of your feet. With Colt clones, half cock the hammer and open the loading gate. Repeatedly take a round of ammunition from the belt or table with the weak hand and insert the ammunition in each chamber. Close the loading gate and lower the hammer on an empty chamber. If loading from a table, ensure that the weak hand is not swept when reaching for each round of ammunition by keeping a horizontal and or vertical separation of the muzzle direction from the weak hand. Complete the holster drill or alternatively place the revolver on the table or other location as required for the course of fire. 